Welcome back to Todd's In My Kitchen. We're here at Pie Guy with Mitch, the owner, and the pizza is cooling, and we're getting ready to make our pizza nachos. So, but first, Mitch is going to show me how he makes his knots. So, what you have here is the, just the same dough that we used before. Yeah, it's our same pizza dough. We're just okay. going to cut it in strips here, and we're going to tie knots. Okay. I've been told to do that before. <laughs> Teacher told me to go tie knots. You can tie any type of knot you'd like, for real. Yeah. Classic bowline. I just I just uh, tie a regular old knot. So you're gonna hang it by a string here. Okay. You're gonna wrap it around your two fingers. Okay. And you're gonna poke the end through. And then pull it tight. And then rip off the end. So you just got a nice little knot here. Insert you knot. do. Insert I knot don't. Joke. I've got a. I don't know what I have. <laughs> that there, is not a knot. That is. <laughs> that's not a knot. <laughs> So right. we're gonna. So you want some excess, is what you're saying? A little bit of excess is nice. This is just our sourdough. It just it complements just how good our dough is. So it's real simple. We offer it on the pizza nachos or just a classic garlic. I'm knot. not a good knot tier. That looks more like a pretzel. Any type of knot will do. We're gonna tie about a thousand more of these. <laughs> I'm gonna do a double loop over. Yeah. Were you in the Boy Scouts ever? Yeah. I wasn't, you can tell. <laughs> I don't remember any knots from it. This one's a slip knot. <laughs> there you go. Tie up these loose ends a little bit here. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Did you hear that one? He's tying up the loose ends. I got knots, knot jokes for days. <laughs> All right, we're gonna throw these in the oven. All right, same temperature. Same temperature, yeah. We're gonna cook them for about 12 to 14 minutes. We're gonna okay. flip them in, in between, and we're gonna pay attention to them. Okay, and then what's the next step to make these? Uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're perfectly baked now. Uh, we're gonna toss them uh, with our garlic butter. Okay. Uh, and pecorino cheese. What's uh, pecorino cheese? Pecorino cheese is Parmesan, but it's sheep's milk. It's uh, sheep's milk? It's sheep's milk Parmesan, okay. yeah. It's imported from Italy. It's delicious. Okay. We're gonna toss it in the garlic butter. We're gonna add a bunch of cheese. Okay. Toss that up. All right. We're gonna throw it on the on the tray here, and then we're gonna add the the nachos. Okay. So we're gonna add uh, cheese sauce, Provel cheese sauce, marinara, uh, crispy pepperoni, pesto, ricotta, and uh, Italian salsa. So we're gonna start with our marinara first. We make this in house. Okay, now this is this is different than what goes on the pizza, right? This is a thicker to marinara. So what's Correct. the difference between marinara and pizza sauce? It's basically it's cooked. It's got onion and carrot and, and uh, some other ingredients. So it like makes that. it thicker. It's thicker. Mm -hmm. It's thicker. It's it's less tangy. It's more bold. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna go to our Provel cheese sauce. Okay. Make that in house too. A little bit of St. Louis. A little bit of St. Louis. A little Provel. Is that just regular Provel cheese? Melted or? Yeah, it's milk, Provel, a uh, little bit of mozzarella. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna throw so some dollops to make it look like nachos. We're gonna put a dollop oh, of ric that? ricotta cheese. Okay, a dollop of ricotta. This is, uh, this is we call it tapenade, but it's essentially an Italian salsa. Pimentos, artichokes, green olives, pecorino, and then pesto. Ah, and you know what? I'm sure I'm not the first to have noticed this, but the colors of Italy. It, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's meant to look like uh, guacamole, salsa, and sour cream, too. Okay. Then we're going to top it all with crispy pepperoni. Boom. Wow, that looks delicious. It's fantastic. 